Oh, that's awesome. What are you doing? Is there any higher I can go? How many times can I do this? Can I go any higher? Oh, there's a Korok puzzle up here. Do I just have to shoot the one? Worth it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So there was a purpose to coming up here. Besides being able to like really go anywhere from up here. Let's see what happens when I climb up to the top. If I can. I think I can. I don't know why not. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wonder if I can get any higher. I freaking love that they have the Dragon Roost Island music playing up here in the Rito Village. It makes me so happy. One of my favorite songs from one of my favorite games. Where did you go? I can't find Kill anywhere. Where could she be? Find Kill. Key and Peel. We have to go back and tell that guy that I found the Great Fairy Fountain, but I guess we're gonna go over to Kiel. What's over here? A Korok? Oh, do I have to make it to the tree? Oh no, it's a time trial. That's all I had to do. Okay. And if only I didn't have to wait for Rivali's Gale to charge. Look at you. <laughs> oh, there's a black Enox over here. I don't think I really have any arrows. Yeah, I don't. 
Definitely need some arrows before I take him on. But maybe I should... Um, we're gonna mark this with a skull. Just cause. I think we can come back and fight him later. But as for right now, we're going over to find out what this kid is doing, singing her songs. That's so awesome. Am I headed the right way? I almost have another Revali scale. It charges a lot faster than what's her face. The Miffas. What does this sign say? Flight range, mountain climbing path. Spicy Peppas. A hearty travel. What's over here? A fox. Sounds like a swamp. Hmm. It's like a giant skeleton remain. Dragon Bone Mire. Well, cool. I totally got sidetracked, but we need to. We need to. Wasn't there a shrine over here that I did? No, it wasn't there. Oh, it was here. We need to go talk to that guy about the fairy fountain that we discovered, because he wanted me to do that for him. Oh look, my little bird bro. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Where's the fairy fountain, dude? Oh, it charges all three at the same time. That's cool. Thought I was gonna have to wait. All right. Yo, Fairy Fountain Man. Hey, it's Beetle. We should buy from Beetle. What's up, Beetle? What have you got? Uh, we're gonna buy all of his arrows. I'll take them all. Cool. Uh, let's see, what can I sell him? Hmm. What do I have a lot of? What are these used for? Wow. Yeah, I don't care about those. Used to season meals. That's it. What's this kid doing? <laughs> the painter left. <laughs> what about the great fairy? Oh, this guy.
I wasn't asking for more. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't need a torch. All right, where's the tower for this area? It's gotta be around here. What is this place? They're like giant mushrooms. Where are we? Oh, there it is. Oh, this is so cool. Look at the mushrooms. Oh, they're bird nests. Oh no. I hope I didn't piss off the birds by taking their eggs. Oh, it's raining over there super hard. Okay. It's really raining over there. But we're gonna go do this tower so we can unlock this portion of the map. There's a Korok bubble up there. Sounds like a Hinox is sleeping over here too. Oh, he is. I only have ice arrows. Is it worth it? Yeah, we're going to say it's worth it. We're going to go up there, glide, and hit it with a frost arrow. Because I believe that would be the only one from that Korok puzzle. Alright. Cool. And we're headed over there. Looks like a pretty easy one to get to. This is a crazy looking place. There's some sort of ancient columns over there. These mushrooms are nuts. Are they trees? I don't really know what they are. Rock formations? Who knows? Oh. Does this not look like a... Do we have to dive? Finding all the Koroks. <laughs> you have to dive into those, apparently. There's no other way around it. All right. Are these collectibles? No. To the tower. To the tower. Next time we see Hestu, we should be able to get some more slots. Do I have to use my last Gale to recharge my other Gales? I have to use all three of them? Because right now I'm sitting at one, and I could probably get pretty high up that tower. It's kind of cheatsing. Cheatsies. <laughs> Ugh, Hyrule Castle looks scary. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, I know what to do. What? 
so... That's what I'm doing. I hope they can't see me. Because if I get electrocuted up here, my shield's going to go flying. And my axe is going to go flying. It's just not going to be good. Just let me climb my tower in peace. All right. And up to the next one. Woohoo! I want to know what makes that noise. So we got the elephant and the bird. Next, I guess we're going to the desert. Is that a spider? Or a Lizalvos? Um, now we're almost there. Sweet. Haha. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's a guy up here. Ooh. I should have marked where that other Hinox was. I don't really know if they drop anything good, but I really don't have a lot of arrows for him. I have a higher level bow now, though. That's good. I see the Temple of Time from up here. That's cool. And apparently there's a Korok on the freaking needle of the steeple. Awesome. And now we can whop up here. What's this guy doing? Hmm, it's quite high. If only I was a bird man. Wah, wow, where did you come from? Don't scare me like that. How'd you get up here? Though, I suppose you could ask me the same question. You see, I've dedicated my life to study of bird men. Their flight mechanics fascinate me. Given their weight, it should be physically impossible for them to just fly with wings of their size. I just don't get it. I was standing on the ground watching the skies when suddenly the tower erupted from beneath my feet. I've been stuck up here with no way to get down. But my misfortune is a blessing in disguise. You see, this tower is a perfect place to observe the birdmen in their natural habitat. Oh my, now that you've climbed up here, how will you get down without falling? I suppose you're stuck here down too. You can fly? You can fly like a birdman? Is it true? I thought it was impossible for a Hylian to fly like a birdman. Ah, it's more like gliding then. That's a real... Step in the right direction. If I can analyze their glide distance and trajectory, it may help me understand the science of birdman flight. Then maybe one day I can finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. <clears throat> Would you mind participating in a short research study? I want to see how far you can glide. You'll be compensated for your time and travel depending on how far you fly. So how about it? Marvelous. However, you are merely gliding, not flying, making this a rather dangerous research project. Has such liberty a lot. <laughs> okay. Am I going to go all the way back to him? 
That's kind of unnecessary. I had to walk all the way back that way. <coughs> a promise is a promise. Here's your reward. 21 rupees. Uh, fine. I'll make it 50. So, if you're still up for it, why not glide down again? No, I'm done. Okay. So this guy apparently will help us when we can fly further. <laughs>